Netflix soaring after hours, reporting a beat on earnings and subscribers. Joining us now to dig into these results, Kevin Landis from First Hand Capital Management and Sylvia Jablonski from Direction. Uh, Sylvia, if I start with you, I mean, what's your, what's your take on this? Clearly, volatility exists on the subscriber numbers, but this quarter in the correct direction. Yes, I, you know, I was very actually happy to see this number. You know, I didn't think they would miss twice. You had the earnings estimates, you know, 89 versus 68. They matched on revenues. And I think that, you know, it's been an awesome growth story. The stock has tripled in the last three years. It's up over 70 percent probably by now after the close this year, um, you know, leading the fangs. And I think it's just it's been an awesome growth story and it will continue to be an awesome global growth story as they expand into Asia, India and some of the international markets. Kevin, what, what, what did Wall Street get wrong? Morgan Stanley slashed the price target today. Raymond James lowered their target on Monday. Goldman Sachs lowered their target on Friday. Was this a big surprise? Well, I, I suppose, you know, fear of the unknown is, is, is a big motivator for anybody in any context. But uh, I, I guess you could say Wall Street just loves to worry about expensive stocks. But, you know, the strongest stories end up being those most expensive stocks. And this is case in point. Are you worried, uh, Kevin, about how much they're going to have to spend on content to continue to justify the subscriber growth? I'm sorry, you cut out there a little. You're asking, do they need to keep spending aggressively to build up this subscriber growth? Probably. Exactly. But they're spending, but they're, but they're spending intelligently. And, and what they're doing is working. And I think you know, this pattern where they never seem to miss subscriber growth two quarters in a row, it shows you that they're measuring pretty much everything they do and they can turn the dials to, uh, to adjust different variables as they need to as they're going. So, and you know, I've said this before, most of your viewers, you know, love watching a show like Narcos and can't get enough of Ozark because it's, you know, it's all about the dark side of finance and so that's thrilling. Um, th these folks are very scientific about what they do uh, and they're, in, in essence, they're pretty darn aggressive about what they do as well. And that's why people complain so much about how much money they spend. Yeah, Sylvia, you know, it, it gets to a point where I keep coming back to, which everyone agrees, Internet TV is the future, streaming is the future, apps. Uh, but how valuable is Netflix Head Start in all this? Uh, and just how much runway do they have in terms of, uh, on a timely basis, growing, earning, growing subscribership overseas? Well, I think if you look at the growth in subscribership overseas, it's over, you know, 5.8 million right now. And, and you see all these great shows that are picking up interest overseas and both domestically, like you have Made in Mexico, you have um, Sacred Games is a big show in India. So they're having a lot of success with new content abroad and those numbers keep growing. I would expect them to sort of have a head, you know, head start, move, first mover advantage in the space. Um, they probably have some competition with Amazon, you know, like Jack Ryan was the big popular show this time around. So we'll see kind of what Amazon brings to the table with some of their content, but Netflix really has produced content with their seven to eight million in spending this year. So if so. there's another big scare about treasury yields or, or something macro, I mean, does this insulate Netflix a little bit? Because that sort of led the, the way down for a lot of those hot tech stocks in the past week. Yeah, I think it remains to be seen, you know, if, as rates continue to rise, if, if they continue to be highly leveraged and, and add additional debt to, to grow, it, it will impact their bottom line. But, you know, it's sort of a fine line between raising prices for the subscriber and, you know, and, and rate hikes and tax tariffs and how that impacts everything. We'll have to see how it all balances out.